break and you see what I got there. I bought another box of vintage slash universal treasure cards, 2019 edition. Looking for those cards again. Looking for another hot box. As you saw, my 2020, one of them, I finally had a hot box uh, after many, many tries. I love opening these things. These are fun. Um, you guys love watching them. So I bought another one. I splurged and bought some more. So got, you know, 2019, um, 10 original tops cards from 52 to 91. So there's going to be a little junk in there, but there's some of the players you can get, you know, one hall of famer autograph or one hall of famer autograph or relic in every box. So we'll get one of those. We're going to find the stars. You know what we're going to look for here. So I always like these cards, you know, they, uh, you know, they're in decent shape. When you get the vintage ones, they're in really good shape. So that's why I did it. I love opening these. You love watching them. This one is box 3314 out of 25,000. So let's not waste any time. Let's break the seal. It's sealed for my protection and yours. So we know it's not counterfeited. So here we go. So, ugh, what's opened up? Did I break it open? I did. So here we go. There they are. All the card goodness. Uh, we're going to start it out here. And these packs are a little thicker, so I always have to cut them with scissors. Uh, what are you going to do? So here we go. And there's the first pack. We're going to start with Mike Schmidt. Yes! The very first card. We get a Mike Schmidt. Come on. What are the odds of that? You pull one of these up and you get a Mike Schmidt. Dude, right don't lose your cool time all-star, oh, three-time baseball I MVP. Maybe he doesn't know. I don't buy it for one second, dude. Yeah, that is a 1985 Tops all-star card of Mike Schmidt. Come on. What a star. You got to love it. We're going to put that aside there. Up next, we're going to get a 1980 Tops of Terry Kennedy from the St. Louis Cardinals. We're going to get a 78... Jim Hughes of the White Sox. We're going to get Dwayne Henry of 91 Tops. Oh, we're going to get 1984 Jim Rice. Up next, we're going to get 1975 there of Dave Clyde from the Texas Rangers. A little off center, but man, like I said, these corners are sharp. You know, you can't get any better than that. And it's not a PSA 10, but it's still decent for your album. Up next, 1987 Tops of Greg Maddox. That's a great card there. That's his rookie card. Come on. Gotta love it. 1987 Tops traded of Greg Maddox rookie card from the Chicago Cubs. I don't, I think I only have one of these, so get a second one. I'm loving it, so we'll take that. Up next, 1986 George Bell All-Star. Up next, we got Mike Vale from the Chicago Cubs on a 1979 card. All right, and the last card is Guy Sulez of the San Francisco Giants on an 83. All right, good start. We'll take it. We get a Mike Schmidt card. Gary Maddox rookie card on the 87 tops traded. And, of course, always you get some of those vintage cards. So up next, we're going to get Goose Gossage on 86 tops there. Up next, 1981 checklist. So you can never go wrong with a checklist, especially when it's not checked. Well, there we go. Up next, we got 1978 Vita Blue. And just in case you didn't remember his name, it's right there on the shirt. Blue. There you go. Very nice. We'll take that. Man, we're getting 1989 Tops of Jerry Brownie. And that's going to be a traded card, so... Up next, from 1980 Tops, Adrian Devine from the Atlanta Braves. Very nice. Tom Seaver from 1979. Little off-centered, but the card is sharp, so we will take that. Up next, from 87, Pete O'Brien. Bucky Dent from 84 on the Texas Rangers. We're going to get an Adrian Garrett on a 74 from the Chicago Cubs. Get the Cubs love there. And last one is going to be a 1985 Wade Boggs. So, very nice. We will take that. Uh, here comes pack number three. I haven't found a hit yet. So, let's see what we can get here. Uh, here we go. We're going to start out at 84. Bill Dolan from the Houston Astros. 
Storm Davis, 1987 tops. Damn, we're going to get a Billy Martin there. Get the wrong Billy there. Come on. You got to love him as a manager. Out of 78 tops there uh, from the New York Yankees. And we're going to get 1982 Bill Gulkson from the Montreal Expos. And very nice. We're going to get a Tim Raines rookie card on the 81 tops. So we will take that Tim Raines Roberto Ramos and Bobby Pay, but you know what card we want, or probably we want. We want the Tim Raines there, so that is going to be a decent hit. So we will take that. We'll put that right there. Up next from 1979, Nelson Bryles of the Baltimore Orioles. Carlton Fisk on 85. Tom Bolton on 89. And we're going to get Storm, uh, Brent Storm uh, on a 77 from the San Diego Padres. And again, very sharp card there, so we will take that. Last card is Ron Guidry from 1986. So, get some minor hits there. I got a Tim Raines rookie card. Definitely be adding that to my collection. So, got a little Tim Raines. And I cut that good. There we go. And we're going to start out with a 1981 tops of oh, Tommy John. Bo Diaz from 1986. We're going to get Dave Roberts from Detroit Tigers on a 77. Who is Mike Schmidt? Who is Mike Schmidt? Bro, how do you respect him, man? What are you talking about? I don't I know who Mike boss. Schmidt is. This You've Mike never Schmidt. heard of Mike Schmidt. Come on! Easy, dude. Don't lose your time. His regular card. Man, can I kick a wrong? Even his regular card goes for a buck fifty back at high. Gotta love it. Another 1985 Mike Schmidt. So we're getting the Mike Schmidt collection here. Get my Schmitty love. You love it. I love it. We all love Mike Schmidt. So up next, we got Dang Og of the St. Louis Cardinals on 84. We're going to get 1974 Houston Astros team card. So there we go. Got to love the outfit there, the trainer. He's all spaced out. <laughs> white on white. Got to love it. Very nice. That is the Houston Astros team card from 74. Up next, we got 1980. We got Paul Malter. Very nice card there. And we're going to get an 87 Tops Traded Checklist. What the heck? Come on. You can do better than that. No one wants 87 Tops Traded Checklist. Up next, 78 Butch Metzger. Oh, St. Louis Cardinals on a 78. And we're going to get a 1988 card of Kirby Bucket. No. Oh. All right, get my Schmidt love, that's for sure. Definitely becoming the Schmidt box, so need some more. Never have enough Mike Schmitz, that's what I always say. And up next, we're going to start out with 1983. We're going to get the NL Active Leaders of Steve Carlton, Tom Seaver, and Steve Rogers. So, very nice. Up next, 1980, Ken Singleton from the Baltimore Orioles. And hey, we're going to get our first 60s card. And it's going to be a 1968 Dodgers rookie of Jack Billingham and Jim Ferry. Fairly, Ferry, Ferry. Yes, yes, Ferry. I said it right. Come on, Rob. Don't doubt yourself. You know what you're saying. That's a very nice card there. A little off centered again. Oh, corners are in great shape, so we will take that. Our first card from the 60s, and it's going to be a Dodgers rookie star. So we'll put that right there. Try to get as much as we can in here. Up next, Lenny Dykstra from the Philadelphia Phillies. That's going to be a traded card. Yep, it is. 1989 traded. Up next, 1985, Pete Rose. We will take it. Up next, 77, Dick Bozeman, uh, Oakland A's. And again, very sharp card for 77. Ivan Rodriguez from 1991. Let's pudge. It's his rookie card. You get a rookie card of pudge. Come on. You got to love it. Even though it's 1991 tops traded or 92, you know, 91 tops traded. I was right. Well, it was overproduced, but what are you going to do? We'll take the pudge. Very nice. Add that in my collection. Tom Pagnozzi from 1988. Raleigh Fingers. There he is, a guy. He's in full curly mustache form, as always. Gotta love that stash. Full stash form on the San Diego Padres from 1978. And that is in really good shape, actually. Wow. Very, very off-centered. But, man, you can almost get that graded. Up next, 1986, Ron Guidry. Oh. 
And we got one of some minor stars here. We got our first 60s card. It's building up. That's what we got to keep telling ourselves. It's building up. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to start out with a Dusty Baker from 1980. So, LA Dodgers. Up next, record breakers of Don Manley and Ricky Henderson on 88. Ron Fairley of Oakland A's and uh, 77 there. And as always, great shape. Jim Palmer from 1983 Tops. That's nice. 82, uh, Paul Spurdorf of Kansas City Royals. Up next, 1979 of Wayne Nordhagen of the White Sox. And we're going to get a Raphael Primero on 1987 uh, Tops. So that's one of the better cards to get in 87. I know they produce a lot, but man, I love 87s. They're one of my favorite years. I don't care. I just love 87s all around. Up next, we got Burt Bylevin from 1986. And hey, we're going to get another, uh, another one from the 60s, this time on a 1967. That's Ed Brinkman of the Washington Senators. There's the back, 311. Oh, uh, very nice. Man, that is in great shape. One slight weak corner. It's slightly off center, but man, that's a sharp card. I'd be proud to add that to any collection of yours. 1967 of Ed Brinkman. And the last card is going to be uh, Ricky Henderson from 1985, his all star card. Here we go. We're keep going here, building up little bit by little bit. We're waiting for that. Big hit, hopefully. Here we go. We're going to get started off. Alan Trammell and Detroit Tigers, 1985. Get my Trammell love. We will take that. Jack Clark from 1989. Charlie Moore, 1979 tops for the Milwaukee Brewers. And as always, decent shape card. Willie Stargell from 1981. Pittsburgh Pirates. Got to love the man. Uh, that's in good shape, too, so we will take that. Glenn Adams from 1980, Minnesota Twins. And we're going to get from 1977, Tim Foley. That looks like a weird card there, but man, a little goof there, but that's our first one. Up next, Rock Crew from 1986, John Rabb from 1984. Oh, there's the bag. And hey, we're going to get a first Jenkins. Signed card. Oh my, I love it. That is a huge hit for me. Fergie Jenkins signed, hand signed on the Panini. Wow, yeah. Ooh, as a Cubs fan, I am loving that card. So that is 2014 Hall of Fame Baseball, and that is a signed Fergie Jenkins card. Whoa, we will take that. That is a huge hit for me. I do not have Fergie's signature. I'm a huge Fergie fan. So for me, that is a nice card to get. So there's our hit. Fergie Jenkins signed on card from 2014 Panini. Wow, I will take that all day long. So up next, we got Ken Forsh of uh, Houston Astros on 78. So, all right, we got our hit. I'm happy. Now we just got to get a Mickey Mantle card, right? <laughs> what well, we'll top it off but to get a Mickey Mantle card. Oh, uh, the dream continues. What can I say? Here we go. We will take these cards no matter what. We're going to start out in 1980. Reggie Smith from the LA Dodgers. Here we got Eddie Murray of uh, Baltimore Royals, 84. Richie Zist from the Texas Rangers. All airbrush hat form and everything. And 1978. That's a pretty sharp card for 78. Man, it looks almost fresh out of the box. There's the back. 110. Bill Swift, 1986. Dyer Miller from 1982 from the Mets. And we're going to get 1972 there. Ted Williams. That's a nice card to get. A little off center. But again, sharp corners. We will take it. 510. So you're going to get a semi-high card there. So you love it. Ted Williams. Up next, Lee Mazzari of the New York Mets. Man, I've got a Mets run here. This time a 1985 card of Daryl Strawberry. We will take it. Tony Scott, 1979. 
from the St. Louis Cardinals. And again, that one's in really good shape. And that's pretty pretty much centered too. We'll take that. Up next, 1990, Rafael Primero. Oh, we got his rookie card. Get him a little bit later. Oh, hey, we will take that. Oh, trying to get making sure I got everything in there for you guys. Here we go. Next pack. Get an autograph Fergie. Man. We will take that. I know some people don't care. I do. That's a big hit for me. I know there's going to be a couple people excited for him. Up next, there's Campy. Brick Capnaris with the California Angels on 1982. Up next, Alan Ashby from Houston Astros on 85. We're going to get Pete Lecoq from the Chicago Cubs. What a name. Got to love that name. Out of 1976. Bob Boone, 1981. And unfortunately, that is way miscentered. <laughs> we will take it. Up next, 1989 of Cal Ripken Jr. And up next, we're going to get the 1977 Paul Mitchell from the Oakland A's. And again, really good shape. Oh, there's a hit. Oh, yeah. Here we go. We're going to get a 1983 tops of Tony Gwynn. His rookie card, and wow, that is in really good condition. Yeah, that's going to go in a one touch. You know that's going to go in a one touch. Wow, Tony Gwynn, 1983 tops. That is a huge hit. Add it to my collection. I know I have one Tony Gwynn, but I think that's in better shape. Or this one's in better shape than my other one. So my second Tony Gwynn rookie card, we will take it. Up next, 1980 of uh, Alex Trevino from the New York Mets. 79, Ron Schuler of the White Sox. And last card is going to be a 1986 card of Reggie Jackson. So overall, this uh, the box is going smoothly, I will say. Not getting as many vintage as I would think. But we're getting some decent rookie cards, so... Um, Tim Raines, Tony Gwynn, so it's it's not bad. We will take it. I'm gonna start it out here in 1985. All star of George Brett, and oops, gonna put that aside there. Gerald Young on a 1991. Tim Blackwell, 1978 from the Montreal Expos, and again in really great shape. Chat Lemon, there's my buddy Chat on 1980. I love it. That is in great shape too. That's before he got sent to the Tigers. Oh, very nice. Up next, we got Tom Seaver from 1986. And we're going to get a 1974 rookie pitcher. And I'm trying to think if this is the air card or the correct card. I think there's an air on the Bob Abodaka. I'm not sure. I'll check it. I'll show you on the screen here. I'm not going to stop it to pause it, but uh, we got the Bob Apodaca, the Dick Bainey, John D. Acquisitiono, and Mike Wallace. So nothing major there, but I think this one is an air card or not air card. So I'm just going to babble on for one second here and pull it up quick. Maybe I'm wrong. Yes, this is... So let's see here. Uh, up Odaka. Man, oh, I forgot. I swear something wrong with one of these cards. I know it is. There's an I see it. I don't see where up uh, Odaka. Ah, Abodako Abodaku. So I have the correct version. So unfortunately, it is the lesser of the two. So we got the correct version of this. The uh, the air would have uh, C-O, Akapaku. So Akapaka. Akapaku, Akapaka. So very nice either way. We'll take it. 1984, Bob Clark, the California Angels. Up next, got 1981 there, Reggie Jackson. Very nice. That's a decent card. Slightly off-centered. Still sharp corners. Up next, we got 1977, Joe Liss. And last card's going to be a 1986 All-Star of Kirby Bucket. Well, keep on moving here. I think we got like four packs left. Oh, 
So you got four packs left. It looks like we got four packs left. So come on, let's have something at the end here. Here we go, 1984, Terry Paul, the Houston Astros. Gonna get the Ricky Henderson, Tim Raines, stolen base leaders out of 1982. Man, they're very nice. That's going to be a little value there. Let's go ahead and get uh, the Phillies rookies. Um, it's 1979. Jim Morrison, Lonnie Smith, and Jim Wright. You know what player we're looking at. It's going to be the Lonnie Smith. They had a great career in the 80s. So, very nice. We will take that. Again, sharp corners as always. Up next, 1986 of Kirby Bucket. We're going to get Mark Thurman of the San Diego Padres on 1985. And we're going to get a 1969 card there. There we go. Strikeout leaders of Sam McDowell, Denny McClain, and Louis Tiant. I think I have this card, but I don't think it's in as good a condition as this one. Two corners are very, very slight, but, man, it's well-centered. Uh, I mean, you can probably get an A or an, maybe even a 9. Probably an 8, I'm going to say. That's well, not bad. We will take that. I'm going to make some room here. You know what I'm going to do? We've got four packs left. we get rid of the box. You don't want to see the box. You want to see the hits and the cards and all the good stuff that comes with it. Well, here we go. I'm going to just take a second here and get the 68 and 69 up there. And I got that Fergie sign card. Man, I love it. Oops, I didn't finish this pack. Duh. All right, let's finish it up. We got Bob Horner from 87. We're going to get Gary Carter from 1981. Very nice. We'll take that. That's in great condition, too. Slightly, slightly off-centered. John Candelaria. Oh, the Pittsburgh Pirates out of 77. And last card's going to be Blue Jays Future Stars from 1980. With Bruce Edge, Pat Kelly, and Ted Wilborn. Oh, well, here we go. Got what, four left. Come on, we gotta get another hit. We need one more. One more biggie. Come on, you gotta give us one more. Up next, Tony LaRusso on 1983. Brent Saberhagen, 1986 All Star. We're gonna get a 1978 uh, Gary Alexander from the San Francisco Giants with the Rookie Cup. Very nice one. Nice Nolan Ryan from 1987. We will take that. The Express. Tim Foley from the Angels, 1984. And we're going to get another 1968. This one's going to be Ray Washburn of oh, the St. Louis Cardinals. And there's the back, 388 in the middle. Oh, we will take it. Not bad. Up next, we got Mike Norris from 1985. Roberto Alomar from 1988. That's going to be his rookie card. And there it is. It's chops traded. We will take it up next, 1977, Alan Bannister of the White Sox. And we're going to get end up there with a record breaker from 1981 of Steve Carlton. Most strikeouts left-hander in a lifetime. Ah, Steve Carlton, he was a great player, that's for sure. Uh, Phillies team. Mm. All right, we're down to our last three packs here, so let's see what we get. Let's see if we can get a hit in these final three. Overall, not too bad. We will take it. So we're going to start on 1984 there of uh, Hal McRae and Harry Gidra. Uh, man, what the heck? You know what? That is, I was kind of seeing it. That's a Tiffany card. And you can tell by how bright that is. That is a 1984 Tiffany. I do not have many Tiffany cards. They, always, they were all in sets. So I know they a lot of people broke them up, but I was wondering, it's like, man, it's really shiny. And it is. You can tell by the bright backs there that it is a 1984 uh, Tiffany card of the Royals leaders. So very nice. Don't see that very often of the Tiffany cards, even though they did quite make quite a bit, but a lot less than the regular cards, that's for sure. Um, next we got Roger McDowell of the Philadelphia Phillies. That one's going to be a traded. Up next, 1979, the home run leaders of Jim Rice and George Foster. Mike Maddox from 1987. And we're going to get Don Sutton. Old man Sutton there from 1981. Houston Astros. We will take that. It's going to be the high series, the first uh, year of the traded set. So 
as you remember, 1981, they did the first traded, and uh, they just added the numbers on instead of adding the T's. But very nice, Don Sutton there. Up next, 1978 of Danny Wallen, Houston Astros, going on Astros run here. Up next, 85 uh, tops of Len Barker from the Atlanta Braves. Steve Garvey, 1986 tops. I got that card signed by him. Love it. Very nice. Up next, we got a oh, very nice game. Lou Brock from 1976. So we will take that. And man, that card is very, very sharp. Holy cow. Very, very, very slightly off center. You might even get a nine out of that. Wow. There's a little face damage there, but all of that's in really good shape. Up next. 1980 tops. We got the Padres uh, future stars of Tim Flannery, Brian Greer, and Jim Wilhelm. Man, uh, picture from Tim Flannery. I know he's the best player of the three. Looks like a cartoon drawing. It's almost like a drawing of him. Now, oh, Tabs, goofy company in the mid 70s, airbrushing everything. You had a fun time with your airbrusher during that decade, that's for sure. All right, last two packs. We're going to start in 1980, Steve Yeager. We're on the LA Dodgers. Dick Tidrow from the 1983 Cubs. And that one has a crease in it. Oh, that's too bad. But it's an 83. Up next, Matty Alou from 1974. Ken Griffey Jr. from 1991. Very nice. We will take that. You know, add to my collection. Up next, 1984, Rick Manning. And we're going to get that from 1979, Tom Hume. And we're going to get Old Man Phil Necro from 1985. And we're going to get Oscar Gamble there on a 1981 tops. And we're going to get a nice Willie McCovey there from 1977. Again, in really great shape. We will take that all day long. Nice card of Willie McCovey. A little minor star there. And last card is going to be an 86 Keith Hernandez. Last pack. Tell me what you thought. You think I did pretty good? I thought I did not too bad. I wish there was a little more vintage in there, or older vintage. Like I said, only about, yeah, we got four from the 60s. Mm. Got to do a little better than that. Um, got a couple of good rookie cards. Got that signed Fergie. So we will take it. We're going to start out with a 1980 Baltimore Oreos of Mark Corey, Dave Ford, and Wayne Groszewski. Oh. Up next, from 1984, Bruce Hurst, Steve Yeager from the LA Dodgers on 1978 card. In good shape. Tony Perez, 1981. And there's the back. We're going to get Greg Zuzinski of uh, 1983. Oh. Johnny Briggs from the Balt or Baltimore, yeah, Milwaukee Brewers on a 1975, and that is in really good shape. There's the back 123. I'm gonna get the Pirates leader there of, uh, I believe that's Bonds and Bonilla. Oh, there we go. We will take that. Oh, very nice. Another hit. We got another Roger Clemens rookie card. It was slightly off center, but man, we got another hit there on the last pack. Roger Clemens rookie card from 1985 tops. You gotta love it. Man, another Roger Clemens. We will take that all day long. We got another hit there. And we're gonna get 1979 twins prospect of Sam Perlello, Rick Schofield, and Kevin Stanfield. So Schofield would be the one there, the bigger player and the last card is going to be a 1991 jose canseco so that is it tell me what you think i mean it wasn't horrible i'm not gonna say it was bad it wasn't like a super hit box like i had that one time but um i just wish there was a little more older cards but we got i think our oldest card here was the 67 268 169 Got the awesome autograph card of Fergie Jenkins. We got some rookie cards here too in the 80s with Tim Raines. We got Tony Gwynn. Um, we got Roger Clemens. You know, I, you know, it's not a this wasn't a horrible box. I, mean, I probably paid a little too much, but man, these are hard to find nowadays. So hard to find these suckers from 20. 
you know, the 19, the 20s, and at least the guy, I bought so many of these that he has let me know that they got 21s coming out soon. So I'm going to buy a couple boxes of 21s. Look out for that. Tell me what you think. You like what I'm doing here? You love these uh, universal treasures or vintage treasures that they were called in 2019? Let me know. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you like to subscribe to my channel, hit that, hit that subscribe button. I, it helps me out. It makes me do more of these when you guys subscribe. Um, I'll be giving some of these away, as you know, in the giveaways. So thank you for watching. Retro Robbie saying collect what you love.